I've got to get sir. back to politics. Uh, Donald Trump, he keeps stealing the headlines, pushing the conversation all the time. And he's the only one taking on Hillary head on. Listen to this. And she seems not, I don't, I think they maybe won't prosecute her. And, you know, a lot of people are watching to see whether or not they're honorable in that respect. Because if you look at General Petraeus, what he did is a tiny fraction of what she's done. First of all, those documents were far less important than the documents that she's talking about. And, you know, so many mistakes were made by her and so many lies were made. All right. You've heard a lot from Donald Trump. Now bring in former Rand Paul staffer and GOP strategist Brian Darling. Brian... Uh, you Republicans, you, what are you going to do here? Because Trump is making all of the running. He was supposed to fade. He hasn't faded. What are you going to do about this? Well, it's still early. I mean, at this point in the election, four years ago, Herman Cain was a front runner. Eight years ago, you had a combination of Rudy Giuliani and Fred Thompson. So still there's a long way to go. But Trump is right. If you look, two inspectors general of the federal government have said that Hillary Clinton had classified information. So he's speaking the truth. People want to hear this. People want to hear candidates taking on Hillary Clinton head on as her poll numbers go down. I, I wonder if at the end of this interview, she's going to go down another five or ten points she's going down so quickly and it's so bad that joe biden's thinking about getting in the race do you think donald trump is going to fade uh, gretchen carlson is with me on the set right here and we've been talking she doesn't think that trump is going to fade do you think he fades Yes, I do think he's going to fade. Think about it right now. You have 75% of the Republican electorate is being polled, and they're not supporting him. He's getting about 25 24%. And as other candidates drop out, are the voters going to be gravitating to Donald Trump or one of the other candidates? We still have a bunch of debates to go. We have a long way to go. And I think at some point, people are dating right now. They're in their dating phase. They're dating Donald Trump. They're dating the other candidates. When they want to get married, they may have second second thoughts about marrying Donald but here, Trump. But here's president. the other interesting thing, Brian, is that there's an anti-establishment movement going on. You have Ben Carson in many of the polls number two right now. What does he have in common with Donald Trump? They're not politicians. That is what America is responding to right now. And by the way, I'm hearing from a lot of Democrats, specifically Democrats in the unions, who also support Trump for his comments about immigration and China, because those jobs are being taken away from those people right here in America. I agree with that. I think his protectionist talk is attractive to a good portion of the electorate, both the Republicans and Democrats. But he is fighting with the other candidates to be the most anti-establishment. Ted Cruz obviously has been railing against his own leadership in the Senate. You're hearing other candidates, Ben Carson. I do agree. There's a very anti-Washington atmosphere right now. And Republicans are mad at their own leadership. And Donald Trump That's has true. tapped right into that anger and rage. Yes, he has. And he's running with it. Brian, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Always appreciate it. Thank you.